Okay, uh, since we're uh, in uh, training, education, awareness uh, section, um, and uh, we'll be finishing that up shortly and going on to uh, information classification issues. I uh, wanted to talk uh, a bit more about social engineering. Now, I mentioned social engineering. I mentioned that it is uh, one of the major threats uh, that you are going to face from attackers. Um, and we're going to talk about it more again when we get into access control. We're going to talk about it more in uh, application security. We're going to talk about it possibly in physical security because it's it's got uh, lots of uh, links into all of those areas. Um, but uh, uh, I just I I wanted to uh, stress it again here. Um, it is something that's very important. It's very important to teach in security awareness. By and large, though, what it is in in negative terms, in terms of attack, in terms of the threats to our security, uh, is basically a fancy word for lying. Um, that's that's about it. Uh, in in terms of social engineering, you know, people are trying to defraud you. People are trying to uh, fool you into thinking that they are somebody that they aren't, or uh, they are somebody who should have access. And they shouldn't, and, and all the rest of that stuff. Um, thing is, uh, that is only a part of social engineering. Social engineering is also a tool. And particularly when we are dealing with training, education, security awareness, it is a tool that is... Um, very important. Uh, it has a lot of value when we are dealing with those areas of education. Um, you are trying to uh, modify employees' behavior so that it is overall more secure, so that uh, the, the enterprise is safer because of what they are doing and, and not doing. And, uh, you know, social engineering is, is a factor there in, in motivating people, in uh, getting people to remember, you know, the, the uh, principles that I've been stressing. Repetition, that's, you know, a form of social engineering. Uh, keeping the concept simple, that is a form of social engineering. Um, making uh, those kinds of, of decisions... Um, you are always paying attention to the people uh, and, and keep on remembering that. Um, as as uh, I have said, and I believe it was uh, Bruce Schneier uh, originated this, um, uh, saying that if you, if you think that uh, technology is going to solve your security problems. You don't understand technology and you don't understand security. It's always a people problem. So, you know, social engineering is your major tool in that regard. Um, this is, uh, well, it's a, it's a set of tools. As I say, you know, on the negative side, there's, you know, uh, it's really pretty simplistic. But on the... Um, on the positive side, there's all kinds of things you can do. Uh, you know, the, the the motivation with, you know, little trinkets um, in terms of security awareness training. It, uh, you know, <laughs> does wonders for very little cost. Um, the uh, numbers of aspects there. Uh, and when we're you know, talking about education, it's it's interesting. I came across um, something recently uh, from one of the evolutionary biology people, quite obviously, uh, describing teaching as a form of communication which is used to enhance 
the senders uh, fitness to survive. So, you know, as I am doing, you know, uh, teaching here uh, to you guys, I am trying to enhance my survivability uh, by making society uh, more secure and, and safer by uh, teaching you guys about security and, and getting you to do security properly. Um, you know, it's, it's not just that you will be able to pass the uh, CISSP certification exam, it's that you will know more about security. You will know the basics. You will know the foundations. Um, another uh, interesting one is I, I found uh, fairly recently um, the uh, uh, Sashat people, um, and I think New Channels um, in general, have a concept of, of witnessing. This is very important, and, and witnesses at any event um, are, are chosen and actually paid um, to witness, to remember. Of course, this you know comes from an oral culture, but it's it's interesting because it molds their concept of education as a form of witnessing. I am witnessing to you what I have observed over the years in terms of security, and you know so that's uh, an interesting take. On uh, on teaching, um, inter another interesting one as um, Kelly taught me uh, the meaning of respect. Quite literally, she uh, taught me the the word Esoc, um, which is the Sashat word for uh, respect. But it also has additional meanings, as as is frequently the case. Um, the word additionally means observe, and again, you know, the observations uh, uh, and and the witnessing aspect of of teaching uh, that's important to the sashat, um, and um, to appreciate, which of course is not just to like, but to understand, to comprehend the full value of and uh, to take wise action. So, uh, you know, Isak, a wonderful term. It's, it's used very often in uh, uh, Sashat education and in, in teaching. The classes are, are taught it. Um, and uh, it, it is an important aspect of their educational philosophy. Uh, you know, observe, appreciate, take wise action. So, uh, for you... Observe what I am relaying to you in terms of security and social engineering. Appreciate the full value of it and take wise action in your jobs, um, in your positions and situations and ensure uh, that everybody around you, particularly your employees and employers and uh, uh, companies, enterprises, are safe, are secure. So, 